Welcome back everybody, and we are going to fight this big, stupid, ugly brute and uh, have Rosita Just kick some butt. What? Stupid. That's a cuss word. Well, not when it applies to this guy. <laughs> you now have detention. I guess I do. I'm gonna give you the merits. Well, anyway, we are going to be fighting in the Wall Street area. I'm gonna give him a demerit for being that ignorant. <laughs> Really, seriously, people. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's the classic power-hungry or gold-hungry in this case villain. And all he wants is money, and it's. You are ignorant, therefore you have detention. Shooting time! It's shooting time. Who dares disrupt my perfect strategy? Tell me a word. And this game it is. But now there are four! Instead of three, there are four amigos! Having received our group automatically made us all amigos. Yep. Oh, technicalities. Oh, <laughs> He doesn't even remember who they are! Holy cow, are you stupid! She just said our name! Do you not remember us trying to kick your butt last time? Besides. This isn't the first time we've met. Wow, well, he really is dense. Ah, uh, no, you totally forgot. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most lamest villains <laughs> in this game. It's just so stupid. Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> no, it's from the buildings he's destroyed. A kill crusher! Wow, so inventive. This is why he's got detention. I guess so. Uh oh. Did, um, Saturday school, so you know, if you got somebody at detention slips in a week, you went to Saturday school. <laughs> so maybe I should give him the one to school. Ewa <laughs> Tushi! Basically, it's just one big helmet armor that he puts on himself. This looks like something like Dr. Wily would create in Mega Man. Yeah. This, this would be like the final boss in one of the Mega Man games. Capcom, make it happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here you want to go all the way up. You just put on more armor. What the heck is all this nonsense? <laughs> you look about the same. I can't tell. <laughs> oh. That's what they would say to Mary and me, you know, my sister. Shut up, you! Well, the same, really. Well, what if I call it? <laughs> I love my sister. Stupid still. farmer. How about that? All right, so it's Dokurubu, <laughs> whatever that means. How does that feel? Does it feel good? <laughs> that feels delicious. <laughs> Still out of that goal, one track mind he is. That explains everything. Now, this fi fight, he. At least he's a little bit uh, genre savvy here, and he knows that uh, one of the capabilities you have is flight, and so he'll prevent you from doing exactly that. He's basically like a triple A piece, anti aircraft fire, and he has a couple extra turrets on the building tops that to help you to help him actually shoot you down so the goal of this battle is to get rid of the turret tops while you slowly make your way to his position because flying through the air is not going to do it uh, oh, because not Peter Pan anymore. nope because he has way too many defenses for your your and flight Oh, we're still in that. Sorry. <laughs> so we have a conglomeration of five buildings with four of them with turrets. Yay! Yep, with the main turret being himself all the way down Wall Street. So you can't cross between buildings or he will shoot you down. And you can't cross across buildings unless the turret directly opposite is shot is brought down. And your team has been split up two and two. You and Rosita on one side. 
naturally, and Karen and Subaru on the other side. So you're gonna have to work in tandem on both sets of buildings as you make your way to Dokorobu. Yeah, they go at each other's throats, but this is a perfect time for team attacks, right? Perfect. Yep. Uh, okay, so we got the turret in the middle. That we want to get rid of. Yeah, let's see here. We get in the middle here. And attack with all our might. Because the turret actually, if I'm not mistaken, won't fire on you when you're next to it or on the same building as it. Because it's it's a long distance weapon, it's not a close distance weapon. Oh, gotcha. So only fire if you try and switch between buildings without taking it out first. What little thing? I think it's a cartoonized version of her little uh, ferret, weasel. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can shoot him through the barrier, which I could, so it's gonna work out. One turret's down, that means Karen and Subaru can now cross to the next building. Yay! Which is what we want! Which just says the situation has changed. It it's basically means that the situation uh, for Karen and Subaru has changed. They can now cross a building without getting shot down. And trust me, you get hurt. I think like it's like over half your health or something if you get hit by a turret. So it's pretty damaging. So don't do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. There is nothing. Yeah, there is nothing on this building, so there's no reason to stay here. Sure, there's an enemy, but. <laughs> It's just pointless. So you want to go... Yeah, you want to switch and move over to the next area right away. And then, if you can, get rid of an enemy or two, but if not, if you run out of movement points, just defend, because they're all going to end up attacking you. Uh, can I... Uh... Yeah, let's do some attacking, I guess. Well, that didn't do much. Well, I got rid of one, so yeah. that's good. <laughs> got rid of some... No, I didn't even get rid of it. Okay, I got rid of one barrier. Two barriers. Oh, okay, I was mistaken. I... It's this, that little propeller-looking thing that I didn't destroy. Okay, so they're all going to go after her if uh, I don't get Karen over there right away. Court is now in session. Yeah. I fought the law and Karen won. <laughs> no, I don't think it's how it goes either, but it's it's how it goes for Karen. <laughs> okay. No, it's I shot the sheriff. Yeah, I, I know. Anyway. But I like your version better. Wait, no, that's to that's another different song too. I fought the law and the law won. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the sheriff one is I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. But, yeah, as you saw there, I did the team attack with Karen and Subaru, and that's basically just to increase their stats with, yeah, their each, stats other. with yeah. each other. So their future joint attacks will be better and stronger. Oh, that can still happen. No, I mean, they won't be as bad. No, Subaru is Subaru. <laughs> she will do what she wants. But she got some awesome stats, that didn't do too much. Now, Subaru, on the other hand, she is still not a very strong fighter yet. And believe it or not, the next chapter is still not about Subaru. Really? <laughs> nope, it's about another character we haven't really seen very much up to this point. So, kind of like Rosita, except in this case we have seen her a couple times where Rosita just came in from nowhere. Hi! I'm here! <laughs> Love me? <laughs> I'm gonna heal myself and then let's see if I can get rid of... Ah! Gosh darn it. Uh, let's see. Protect. Yeah. I was thinking about Subaru, but I'm gonna protect Rosita. 
Because Rosita's the one I want to do the uh, coupling with. This the special attack. Gosh darn, don't look at me like that. There's a special attack in this chapter because this is Rosita's specific chapter. You already said last night that Rosita was your date. My date? For what? For whatever, because you thought I was going out for the other video characters. Come on now. No, I said that was Jiminy. Whatever. Wow, you forgot a lot between last night and tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anyway. There's a little interesting bit of trivia there with Rosita and a uh, uh, story situation that happens in Chapter 8. But that's for another time. That's for when we actually view it in Chapter 8. Yeah. But... And no snake commentary. Of course not. Never. Ever. Not snide. <laughs> now let's get rid of this turret so Rosita and Shin can actually get off the other rooftop. Because yeah. until we destroy this, there's just no point in moving anybody at this point. Let's join attack this nonsense. Can I? Can I? Ah, here we go. I was waiting for that little red thing to, to pop up around the turret. Yay! Now Shin and, uh, what's her face can get over. Your girlfriend, Rosita. Oh, gosh. No, if I said if I'd had to have one here, it'd be Jiminy. She's so my type. I don't know if that'd be used to describe her. <laughs> I guess you could say she's somewhat of a klutz, I guess, especially when it comes to technology. I'm not saying anything. Uh, <laughs> not saying anything. Whatever. See, look, Karen's Karen's in action. Awesome. <laughs> Boom, done! Karen awesome. As I said, Karen's kind of like a powerhouse in battle. She's uh she's slow. She's slow like a tank. No no no, she needed to be healed, so I had Karen yeah, but heal her. She circles that little lasso thingy towards super like See I told you they'd be catty in battle still. Despite all the joint attacks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Karen's kind of like a tank. She's very slow in uh, her speed, so she usually ends up being the last person to act in uh, in a series of like four to five characters. But uh, on the bright side, her attacks hurt a lot more than the average uh, star. So. It's like, um, it's like, um, Persea? Yeah, Persea. Oh, yeah, from Tales of Symphonia. Persea is a tank, too. She's a slow character to work with, but, uh, she hit, hits like a truck. So, she's pretty awesome. I, I like Persea, too. I think that's as small I can do on his turn, so I gotta... Oh crap, I should've just... <sighs> should've just said help me and just dragged Rosita over without wasting one of her... one of her movement options just to get to the next building. That would've been the smarter thing to do, but hindsight's 2020. 2020. I don't think my hindsight has 20... 50 or 50 20 or whatever you say. 50 50. It's always equal 100. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, I think Rosita okay, can hit him on top there. Yep. So let's do this. Okay, I guess the coupling isn't going to work right now. I was trying to get it to work, but it just it wouldn't, it wouldn't activate. Yeah, but I'm going to do it. I still don't know if... She's got those guns. I'm afraid she's gonna shoot me. She's already and tried when you've tried to take her food. Yeah, but you know what? That, you know, I understand that. See, I mean, if you really have to you will do whatever it takes to keep the food so that you can eat it. Really? Wow, well, you didn't really hungry, did you? Eh, yeah, once or twice. Okay, now we can move on to the next area with Subaru and Karen, and slowly but surely we're making our way to... 
Uh, I, I already forgot his name. Kobarubu? <laughs> Whatever his name is. Yeah, that. And why are you... <sighs> oh, oh, the wrong thing. That's not what I wanted. Uh, situation, here we go. Yep, that's what I wanted. It looks like I'm gonna have to go around here. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. Nice. Just so there's less things attacking Subaru while I'm yeah. waiting on Karen to come over there and help go. take out the turret. Enemy defeat. I mean, if you can't do the primary goal of taking out a turret, then do the secondary by taking out as many of the weak enemies as possible, because that's less that's going to attack you. Like this. See, boom, done. That's not a big deal. Now she needs to get to the next building. All right, we, and she's a uh, long distance uh, range, just like uh, Rosita is with her guns. So she can reach up higher than most other people, or reach further than most people, and reach between levels too. Levels as in altitude, things like that. So if an enemy is above or below you, she can reach them, just like uh, Rosita. And I think there is, I think there's one more long range character coming in, but I could be wrong. Because uh, Shin, he's more of like an up-close melee person with his swords, and so is uh, Subaru with her fans. Oh, cool! Defensive counter! Thanks, Rosita! Totally nullified that attack. If you don't get those often, but when you do, they're, they're a cool little, uh, what have you. Uh, no. Uh, cool little perk. Let's see if I can... Get up here. Can I join? Can I joint attack this thing? Can I? Will you let me? Ah, here we go. Land with those icons to show up. Eh, I don't care about that. That I care about. Woohoo! I think that's the last turret. So now we can move uh, with impunity all the way to Dokorubu. Ooh, she's mad now. Tell us how you really feel, Subaru. This is not a psychology course right now. <laughs> I want to get as close as I can to the area move as possible, so I'm going to put her back down here. Now, I don't, I don't know where I need to do... Rosita actually is one of the quickest characters. Let's heal Shan a little bit. SP a little bit. Let's, can I get around? Where do I need to go? And I didn't kill him! <laughs> okay. You're just being kooky tonight. And probably every other viewer out there. <laughs> My evil plan has worked marvelously. Alright, let's see here. Where do I need to go? Can you go this way? What the? Oh no! Oh, crap! What? I moved back a building! That's not what I wanted! Really? I can't even return? You suck! I can't! It won't let me! I'm stuck here on this... I'm one building behind. No, yeah, that's Karen. So now it's gonna take double the... Ah, so stupid. Let's just get rid of you, robot. You seriously have detention on some... Uh, okay. <laughs> I have some ideas. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'll build that bookcase for you later. 
Alright, this must be the proper way to go. Please don't tell me I'm gonna move back with Karen back on the other building. Oh good, I'm down on Wall Street now. So I'm on the same playing field as... Wow, he looks really dumb just standing there. Why would you do that? <laughs> Utterly surrounded by me! <laughs> oh gosh, Super, you think so highly of yourself. It's just you and me, you're surrounded. <laughs> oh gosh. She cracks me up. Alright, I think... Uh, Okay, where do I need to go? I think I need to go to the other side of the building. I don't think I need to area move on this side. Ah, I still can't area move. Really? Okay, here we go. So at least get Karen back on the same <sighs> building as Subaru once was and kind of work her way across. But not going to be able to get back onto the Wall Street. Oh, come on. <sighs> hey, we got our own little cheerleader. But you cheer me on all the time. What? <laughs> Let's bring Karen in. So we're gonna do the help me and bring her down to the Wall Street ground. And boost our point points up with Karen by doing it, so. Yep. Shinjiro. Yep. Okay, we're all finally making our way to the Wall Street floor. And we're gonna surround him for real this time. Super, you kinda jumped the gun there. <laughs> Let's do a uh, joint attack, maybe? Joint? Okay, Super Move's not working either. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do for this coupling thing, I really don't. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's the, the girl who has to initiate it or if Shinjiro has to initiate it. But I'm pretty sure both characters need to be full health or full SP. I'm not exactly sure. And I don't... I just don't have enough movement points to work this. Oh yeah, Rosita's fine, because I'm protecting her. I think. It looks like it hurts. Just kidding! I'm protecting! Haha! -ha. Let's see if we can do something special here. Okay. Why are you not working? I'm just... I don't know why this is not... St I don't understand the requirements for this, this coupling attack. I really don't. I'm like nearby Rosita. <sighs> I don't get it. How does it, how does this work? How does this coupling attack work? Is it only a specific a part of the battle? Because there's like a second half to this. Well, in that case, it might be on the right track. I don't know. But let's start defending, because I don't know when his next attack's going to be. But we definitely got him surrounded, so we're going to have four attacks to his one. What the hell? And it doesn't have a lot of hit points, actually. No joint attack, really? That tickles. Uh. I don't know. Come on. I don't get it. Well, that, I'm trying to see if Super Move will change into the special couple move, and I, it's not. I don't. Because I just don't—I don't understand how it works. So I'm just. 
Okay, I guess I'm just gonna shoot you up then normally. Ooh, another one of those will get rid of you. Might as well do that now. What the hell? There you go. Done. <laughs> wow. But that's not the end of the battle, folks. It's just the end of the first part. We trashed just two minutes. Impossible. Unacceptable. <laughs> no way. We just kicked your skull crusher's butt. What do you mean you can't get any closer? We were all up in his business a little while ago. What's up? Your bullets are like the buzzing of flies. You don't stand a chance. So how are we going to be able to penetrate his impenetrable armor? Well, you have to find a weak spot. And where would his weak spot be? On top of his head. Nope, it's got a big skull dome on that. You can't get through that. The weakness is openings in his defenses. And where would those openings be? Oh yeah, and you want to make sure that you tell him. Yep, you want to make sure she knows that you have complete faith in her. You want to have her believe that she's failed again. But the weak points would be his cannons. Those are openings into his... His armor, is it not? So, so Rosita is going to get a little smart. And that's exactly where it, where she's going to be shooting him up. No, I am not alone. I refuse. Ooh, super Saiyan time! <laughs> and they said they'd always be with me. Are those tassels on her uh, shoulders or something? I don't know. Oh, I'm so scared. Probably. You already ran away once, remember? This is like a schoolyard spat, is what this sounds like. Between two kids. When did you get recovered there, Shin? <laughs> my ankles, no touch! Don't touch my ankles. I'm sensitive. <laughs> See, right into the cannon. Boom! Into the head. But explosions aren't going to kill this guy, that's clear not. Yeah, he's too indestructible for that. But Rosita finally got him back. She stood up to the schoolyard bully. And he's turning tail and running like a coward he is. He's invincible for gosh's sakes and he's running away? 